Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it hasn't been a while since I've done a haul, so let's get into what I've got recently in the past uh, month or so. So first up is this wool um, sheath dress, uh, striped, um, Mark New York, Andrew Mark, and I believe it is 100% wool, uh, I would say likely a merino wool. Um, yeah, 70% wool, 30% silk, so a great item. Up next we have a linen piece. This is Vanessa Alexander, Italy, size small. Um, it's white with a few crochet details here. A really great piece for the end of summer. Up next we've just got another mall brand, a uh, Lucky brand here. Um, sort of like a sweater uh, under with a um, sort of tank top underneath. Uh, with some crochet detailing as well here. Up next, another one of those men's brands, uh, mall brands, Ben Sherman dress shirt. Um, it's got a great blue and black polka dot print. I think it'll be a really great uh, piece to transition back to the office. Uh, up next, a bit of a vintage piece here. This is Northern Reflections, a pretty popular Canadian brand. Um, just a uh, jean, uh, flannel, sorry, flannel, um, ribbed jacket. Up next, this is a really special item. I can't believe that I found it. Um, Thrift Life talks about it on his, on his channel a lot. Um, as you can see here, there's no indication of what this is. Um, but if you look right down here at the bottom left-hand side, there's that Viore tag. Um, so that's a really good tip, is to check on other areas of the shirt, in addition to the inside label. Um, you might see what you want. Up next, just the old standard Lululemon um, tank top. There's that typical symbol in the middle. Uh, small hole there, um, but I should still be able to get some cash out of it. It was only four bucks. Up next, a men's shirt. Uh, this is a Foot Joy Polo, and it's in a large, which is a great size. Continuing in the men's category, we have a English laundry shirt. Um, just look for that really classic British um, label, and yeah, this uh, pattern really struck out with me. Um, there's a little bit of velvet here on the um, front. Um, button up area um, so I think that'll be a really great feature for it to sell up next another great item for three dollars another um, another Lululemon piece this one it doesn't have the tag on the back um, it's actually hidden at the bottom um, which is a pretty standard area as well and you can see that's reflective so yeah I've been getting some really good prices on my stuff I've really been trying to stick to under $5, and even $3 is an even better deal. Um, you know, make sure to check at your thrift shops, because sometimes they will uh, underprice things that they, they don't really look at the tag, and um, and you're going to get a great deal. Um, I'll show some, some more items of that uh, in this future. Uh, this is a smart wool. This, again, 5 bucks. This would probably be normally 10 or 12 if they knew what it was. Um, a great striped shirt with um, solid sleeves, long sleeves. Um, yeah, this will sell really well. Up next, a vintage item. I don't go for too much vintage because it's just not an area that I know that well. Um, but it's this really, really um, vibrant pullover sweater jacket from Nike. It's not Nike Pro or anything, but you can see it's got this huge, huge, huge... Um, uh, emblem on the front and then we've got that color blocking very 70s style there so I'm hoping to get like 50 to 100 for that um, we're just almost done here with the clothing so up next um, just a standard item salmon chang denim um, this is only a buck so it's worth it even if I only get 15 to 20 for it this item I just picked up yesterday Hudson's Bay Company this is like a mid to high end line of um, a major department store in Canada. Um, you can see these just look like basic sweatpants and they price them at only three bucks. 
uh, check it out, 100% cashmere. Um, I'll just show you a few extra items here. I always make sure to check bags and accessories. Um, we all know that like a good uh, purse or knapsack by high-end brand will still be priced up at the thrifts. Um, but sometimes if it's in poorer condition, they mark it as is and they price it, it a way down. So this is a Lululemon tote bag, um, sometimes called their bowling bag. Um, yeah, so you can see it's got a really great pattern here. There's the Lululemon logo. The inside could use a bit of cleaning. Um, but yeah, I paid 12 bucks for this, I think. I have another one that's even older. Um, definitely Lululemon uh, enthusiasts collect vintage bags, and I've seen these go for 50 to 100 bucks. Um, but even if I get 40 for either of them, one of them was two bucks from a garage sale. This one was 13, I think, from the thrift. So that's still a great price. Uh, up next, this is a consignment, consignment item that I purchased at a small store in a town. Um, Kate, Spade, Kate Spade tote bag, uh, nylon, um, really great pattern. Um, and it's got some really great detailing on the inside. It's not that bright, sorry. Um, and it even still had the care tag inside as well, as well as that uh, Kate Spade label on the inside. So yeah, I think it's probably authentic. Being nylon, it's not going to be as high value as an item as leather. Um, but if I paid 20, I'm hoping to get um, between 50 to 60 dollars. A couple of other items I picked up. Um, a couple of routers. Um, yeah, routers and modems. Uh, you can still get anywhere from 50 to 50 to 100 dollars um, depending on how in demand they are and how new they are um, when I moved here across Canada um, I didn't cancel my uh, internet in time and so I just brought them with me as I was packing up stuck them in the back seat of the car uh, and then managed to sell both of them for I think 60 bucks total so definitely be on the lookout for those um yeah I mean people just see them as electronic waste but um there are people that are looking to save on buying brand new um electronics for their uh at home internet so you know stick those up uh, I suggest Kijiji or Facebook marketplace and just do an in-person sale um maybe at a local mall or a coffee shop just for safety reasons um, but yeah, that's a really easy item if you can get them for free or for two, three bucks at a thrift. Thanks guys. See you in the next video.